Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geek for Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is union of two linked lists and it is an easy level problem. So I am not currently at my home right now. That is why like uh, the videos might be a little bit off. Off in the sense like uh, in terms of audio quality and also in terms of the timings I upload. Sometimes it might be late, sometimes it might be early and uh, in the worst case there might be not a video for a day. But I hope like I will be able to get back to my home by Friday. So that is something I want to share. Now let us quickly start with today's problem. So this particular problem is very straightforward and simple. So the reason why I am saying that this problem is very simple is because like all the linked list problems are usually solvable with like putting all of the elements into a vector and then doing some operations on it. But this is not the usual way that uh, the interviewer or the problem setter might expect you to solve the problem. But if you look at the constraints of this particular problem, this particular problem according to the constraints would definitely allow us to solve it by that particular method by storing all the elements in some other data structure and then sorting it and then like finally outputting all the elements into a different linked list. So basically what we have to do in the question is we have been given two different linked lists and we have to combine them, combine them in the sense all the elements should be unique in the, in the final linked list and all the elements should be arranged in ascending order. Right, these are our two tasks. Now this can be solved in n plus m log m n plus m complexity. So basically if n is the size of the linked list of both of the linked list together then n log n is the total time complexity. Now we can obviously solve it with storing all the elements in a data structure like set in C++. So what we can essentially do is we can store all the elements in a set and then output all the elements in a new linked list. Right. So I believe that is it about how do we solve this problem. Let me just give you a brief idea of uh, how we can solve it programmatically. So for example, you have your head one here, right. So this is the first linked list and this is the second linked list. So if this is the linked list like this, what you can do is you can use any data structure. So for example, in this case, we can use a set, right, in C++. Now what you have to do is you have to traverse through this linked list one by one. We are going to just move to the next pointer until we reach a null pointer, null pointer, right, this is n. Now similarly, this is the second linked list, we are going to do the same, we are going to move to the next pointer until we reach a null pointer and we are going to store all of these elements in this particular set. Now we create a new linked list, right, and we store all the elements from the set into this new linked list, right, and at the end we can just return this particular head of the linked list. So this is our core idea. Now uh, the expected time complexity was n log n. So this is actually n plus m but I am just writing it n for simplicity. So n is going to be capital N plus capital M. Right. So this is the uh, total size of both of the linked lists. So inserting all the elements in the set is n log n that is good enough and then you can just retrieve all the elements. Now the total space complexity will also be equals to n small n which is actually equals to capital N plus capital M which is the size of the set. Right. So I believe like uh, this particular method would also work in the expected time and space complexity that has been given to us and yes we can solve this particular question with this particular method. Now what we essentially have to do is as you can see I have created a set of elements. Now I just traverse to the first linked list and while head 1 is not equal to null pointer and what I am basically doing is I am just inserting that particular element the data in the current node into my elements set. Now I update my head as head dot next. Similarly, while head 2 is not equal to null pointer, I do the same thing, insert it into my set and move on to the next node. Now I initialize two pointers, current and head, right. Now current is initialized with null pointer denoting that I do not currently have a head, right. So I need to do this, you will see in a while why I am doing this. So what I do is whenever I encounter a new element, I am traversing to the element set. For each new element, I just create a new node. Now if current is equal to null pointer, that means I have not created the head yet. So I will set my head as new node and I will update my current as head, right. Now otherwise if I already have a head and I already have some value in my current pointer then what I will do is I will just set my current dot next as new node and I will update, update my current as new node, right. And at the end I can obviously return the value of head. So this was all about today's problem of the day. Now let me just quickly submit and show, show it to you that this particular method works. So you will see that it passes all the test cases and this solution is absolutely correct. 
I hope that you guys were able to understand this particular solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and can be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you're one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of course and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. Till the next video drops, share the channel with your friends, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.